the one German dude who wasn't allowed in art school and ended up becoming a dictator and starting a world war. <laughs> Azan G, so well said, huh? Wow, how villains are made. <laughs> One must, seriously, it is in many ways, what you're saying is actually so true. That, you know, you can't underestimate. I mean, let, okay, let's look at it as, imagine we're aliens. just kind of looking down, an alien view on Earth. Now, a person like Hitler, just look at the potential the man had. I mean, what he did, you have to remember, he wasn't acting in a vacuum. It wasn't just somebody that jumped up and forced people to follow him. He, there was an interaction between him and the German people at the time. I'm not saying today German people, but that that time. And he was incredibly charismatic, charming, empowering. He, he, I mean, if you look at what he did, it's like, wow, honestly. The, the, I don't know whether he just coincidentally did it or he, he kind of strategically planned everything because there is there's no short of a stroke of genius in how he engineers his whole his whole thing you can call it a deen his deen it's this religion kind of way of life that he orchestrates just think about it from gestures symbolic gestures to something as simple as this, to a great vision, tying it into an archetype of some kind of lost grail, you know, this holy grail almost of the master race, providing this story because people need stories. You see, they're, they're in the low of the low. They're in a great depression, Germany was. So he provides them all of this, this vision far beyond their imagination of a master race, backs it with pseudoscience. So, you know, blind them with science. <laughs> and then brings the charisma, brings uniform. You see, when you create uniforms, now something psychology teaches you is the purpose of a uniform is it de-individuates. It removes the individual and consolidates the group. You displace guilt and you find brotherhood or you find belonging and identity. Then he gave it symbols, swastika. Think about like these things are not small. Th th these are the things that make, th th this is the stuff of religions having grand narratives, having some kind of creation myth, having some kind of, the, the way he's doing this master race, it came from somewhere, the Aryans obviously got it all wrong, but it's still, it doesn't matter. It's not like the public are going to know any better. Gave them this vision, gave them a dream, de-individuated them through uniform, gave them symbols, showed. So, I mean, it's like, and all that potential was in this man who takes charge when he sees this weakness. Now, imagine if Hitler had been a force for good. Imagine he had in his time, because it, this man w was a man who wanted to get into art school. <laughs> God knows he may have been like the next Van Gogh or something, but it's... This is it, isn't it? That lost potential. But in his case, obviously, he actualizes his potential, but in a very malignant, evil, harmful, criminal way. But yeah, that such is the story of life. Huh? In Antiodroma, people, how the potential and things within them carry the potential for their opposites.